Here we got a 64 Buick Skylark, and um, I'm gonna show you the build, uh, the, the sticker on it, what it cost when it was new. So in 64, you gotta remember this is gonna be, you know, non-inflationary dollars. This engine was a Buick engine. So Buick had their engines, Oldsmobile had their engines, Pontiac had their engines, Cadillac had their engines, and Chevy had their engines. Um, reason building Chevys got popular is because there were so many of them why did people buy Chevys? Because they were cheap cheaper so look at this car you know the base price was around you know four thousand dollars right three thousand nine hundred ninety three dollars um so <laughs> you know i mean that's you know that's quite a bit more than a chevelle but this is a more upscale this is a buick this is not a, this is not a chevelle and a Buick was like one step down from a Cadillac, but you couldn't buy a Cadillac in this size at that time. So uh, this is like a luxury, you know, mid-size, mid-small maybe, like mid, sort of like compact. Because back in the day, this wouldn't be considered, uh, you know, today it looks big, but it wouldn't be that big back then. Got your B&M shifter in here, probably a turbo 350, probably got a shift kit in there, I'd imagine. Uh, Notice again, you got the carpet goes up on the doors, matching. No, no cheap carpets or nothing like that. Beige interior with uh, ashtrays all around and stuff. Power windows. That's partly why this car cost a few, few bucks back then. It probably had. Let me take a look. AC. Yeah, AC and a convertible. Cars. AC was a pretty hefty. Uh, if I remember right, I think it was like. Almost six hundred dollars to get AC in a car. When a car, if I remember that right, maybe I'm remembering it wrong. The car would be like thirty-two hundred bucks, and the AC would cost you like five, six hundred dollars. That's why a lot of people didn't get AC. They had those vent windows though. You see this up in the front. They work. You see all the styling back here. That's all swoopy. And these cars were a lot more simple than the cars in the fifties. But still, way more style than anything they got today. Today, it's like somebody took a glop of melted ice cream, poured it out, and they stuck some taillights and headlights on it and some wheels in it. That's your car. They put electronic doodads in it. So, look at that, beautiful. But, you know, it's hard to find a trim for this car because it's a Buick, right, you know? I mean, I'd imagine it'd be a lot tougher to find parts for this thing that are just Buick. So, uh, but as things are progressing, who knows? They might have artificial intelligence manufacturing, and they'll probably be able to make these, you know, right off the spot from, from CAD CAM plans or something. Who knows? That's in the future.